Hey everybody, it's John Costigan, and I want to talk to you about something that I think is going to just blow away your business. And, I, and by the way, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. We all know this stat, but you'd be surprised how many of us don't do this, okay? So before you click off, you're like, oh yeah, I've heard this hundred times. I, I bet you 90% of you, I'm going to show you a technique that I'm telling you most people I tell to, they go, we do not do that. That's really, really cool. So let me walk you through this. The topic is referrals. And how do you get them without feeling awkward? I know why we don't we don't do it. We feel awkward. We have our hat in our hand. We feel like we're begging, um, or maybe maybe we had a bad experience with 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 our customer, right? I mean, that's kind of hard to call up a customer going, "Hey, how are we doing? Um, you're doing terrible. Great. Can I get some names for some other people we can be terrible with? Right. That's a whole other problem. You can't do that. I'm talking about people that we actually have a, a very good relationship with, and we're delivering on what we promised, right? So you can. Folks, go do the searches on referral success. I mean, they're all out there. 92, 85, 64% of all the business you'll get, you'll end up closing from referrals. I mean, they kind of say, you think about it, you get 10 referrals, the worst case you'll do is close six out of 10. That's an amazing stat. So, and there's all these reports that say 83% of consumers will give it, but only 29% of salespeople ever ask. And I just went through the reasons why we don't ask. I'm going to tell you why it's really something we don't do. And here's why you're not getting the referrals because we need to do the work for them. Now, let me explain the work for them. You know, I, I got a client right now in Washington, D.C., and they're saying, John, we met with this person physically. We had a great meeting with them out in their office. We left, and they said, yeah, let me get you to, and let me get you with a couple people here within the organization. That's really who you want to meet. It's now been two months. They haven't replied back at all, and they're really frustrated now that they feel really awkward going, I don't know what else to do right now. I feel like I'm calling, I feel like I'm calling this person out on the mat, and I go, yeah, I, I get it. It's awkward. I said, one of the reasons why you probably don't do it is people are busy. This is it. People are busy. They're more busier now than they've ever been. So what you need to do is you need to elite, you need to eliminate the busy objection part. They're not telling you they're busy, but you're, you got to eliminate it even though it's not being said. And here's what you do. You take a letter and you send it out. You take a Word doc. You take a Word doc and all you do is you do a template. Once you make the template, you're done. You can now send it out to everybody. But the template pretty simply says this right on the front. So let's pretend that I'm dealing with Mary. And I go, Mary, would you mind if actually, is there any opportunity for you to maybe spread the wealth and within your own organization or maybe somebody outside here? I'll tell you what, you probably have two or three people. I'm going to do the work for you. I'll send you out an email. I'll write the whole thing. You just fill in the two blanks and you can send it off to whoever you feel is appropriate. If I can do that, that'd be great. They 99% of the time they go, sure, no problem. I'll tell you one thing, no one's ever done this to them, so it's pretty rare. They're going to go, sure. Their brain's kind of going, that's kind of cool. You're doing all the work for me? They may not say it, but that's what they're probably thinking. So what you do is, here's how the email's kind of constructed, okay, or the Word doc, right? So what the Word doc does just says this. It says, so Mary's going to go, Mary's going to go, hey, and let's pretend Mary's introduced me to a gentleman named Bob. Um, the template's going to go, blank meet John, John meet blank. So, of course, if I send it to Mary, I'm going to write this for her. Of course, Mary's going to put the word Bob in there. And I even put it in yellow. I'm like, I make it so where it, you just, you, you can't screw it up, right? I go fill in the yellow spots. And so pretty much I just say, you know, it says blank meet John, John meet blank. And then it says, I met John about a year and a half ago when he came out to us in Seattle and we did da, 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 da. So the first paragraph is about how we met, how we even got engaged. Then the next paragraph is going to say, hey, based on working with John's organization, you know, some of the great things we've actually seen within our own people has been blank. That's the next paragraph. Say the value of what you're providing. So first off, you kind of say, hey, this is how we met. This is what the value is I think that we're providing your organization. It could be reducing cost, increasing revenue, uh, whatever it may be, right? And then finally, the last part is, hey, listen, hope you, got, hope you two have a great meeting. And then like P.S., hey, John, don't screw it up. Now, remember, I'm taking this and I'm sending it to Mary. So Mary looks at you, probably smiles. She goes, that's kind of cute. He goes, hey, P.S. John, don't screw it up with a smiley face at the end. And then what I do is I go, hey, Mary, there it is. Hey, if you want to pick three people, you could just do it. And I write this in the email to her. So I do the email and I attach the Word doc. I go, hey, Mary, feel free to edit the Word doc accordingly if you want to change something. I said, but just take it, cut and paste it to an email. You saw the two yellow spots. You could fill in those names right there. And then you're pretty much set. And then if you can, just email it out to... Bob or whoever your referral is, put me, CC me, I'll take it from there. I and other people I've trained this on have been crushing it with this. This works so well because you're doing the work. So long story short, I'm hoping, especially as a manager, if you're looking at this, I want you to go, I love this. You know what you do? 
have a day, you know, have a Monday morning meeting, get together, go, we're going to have a referral day. Let's do a referral day where I want you to reach out to our best clients, send them an email or try to get them on the phone and say, listen, have an idea. If you have a moment, give me a holler back. I want to run something by you. Okay. And then you run this idea by him. You go, I'm going to send you the word doc. One thing I wouldn't do, I wouldn't just send the word doc without talking to him or at least explaining an email. I'm going, Hey, Hey, Bob, let me ask you a question. Is there an opportunity for me to maybe send you a word doc that actually has a, you know, has, has some dialogue in it about how to get a referral of people you have? I mean, you could do it that way on email. I would be crazy about it. I'd rather talk to the people in, in person, right? So I'd rather do that. But I will tell you, after the conversation, send it out. It's going to be a home run for you. If you're a manager, do this. Put, you know, obviously put a quote on it. Say, have a contest with it. Person who gets the most referrals by the end of the day gets X. I don't care if it's a gas card, dinner, whatever it may be. Have fun with it, managers. Do a contest with it as well as, um, and have everybody doing it on one day. That's kind of cool as well. Or you maybe make it for the week. But at the end of the day, I will tell you, think about this. You're probably going, oh, I would do that. You do the work for me. You send it to me. I open up the doc. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I might tweak this one thing right here. Awesome. Let me see. Three people I got. Uh, yeah, I got Janet, uh, Marsha, and Jeff. Yeah, those three I probably send it to. Then you just go boom, boom, boom. Whistle it out. It's off your plate. No one feels awkward anymore. Okay. Trust me, this will work. Have a great time, good selling. Hey everybody, John Costigan here. The toughest part to any sale is getting in the door, right? Tell you what, click on the URL below this video or go to costigantraining.com slash free week. Take the first step of solving this huge problem of getting in the door. It's five days, five clips, less than five minutes. Click on the link. We'll see you in a few seconds.